Hi, my name is Bill Cavanaugh. I'm Vice President of Research and Development with ICERI Medical. I'm here to tell you about Mr. Charles Moore. In 2004, Mr. Moore was an active 74-year-old retiree who traveled the country with his wife in their RV. Following an elevated PSA, his doctor biopsied his prostate gland and Mr. Moore was diagnosed with prostate cancer. I um, was diagnosed locally there in Brookings where I lived uh, that I had cancer, but I had uh, all the options. The cancer had not spread. It was still centralized. And so I started to take my time and, and uh, analyze my situation and, and to see what my options were. They were all open to me. Mr. Moore would have been offered several options to treat his prostate cancer, including surgical removal of the gland, external beam radiation therapy, or seed breaking therapy with two isotopes that had been available for decades. He also was offered breaking therapy with cesium-131, an isotope that had just recently gained FDA clearance. I made an appointment with Dr. Korb, and we talked for quite a while about it, and he offered uh, the seed. I, I guess I was uh, thinking that the I like to be a guinea pig. <laughs> no, uh, <clears throat> really, uh, I chose that option because I thought it was best. I read up on it and, and uh, I felt that I wanted to go that route rather than have surgery. Among the benefits of cesium-131 brachytherapy is a very short recovery time. It's possible that the rapid decay of cesium-131 leads to a rapid resolution of side effects for most patients. In fact, we parked our RV uh, uh, at, at the Oaks Club in um, near, nearby Seattle. I can't think exactly where. So my family was there, and so it made us uh, close to the hospital. Of course, that's an, that's an outpatient surgery, basically, and, and uh, they sent me home the same day. And home was? My RV. Your RV. <laughs> yeah. From there, we're just a matter of getting better. Ten years following his cesium-131 implant at the University of Washington in Seattle, Mr. Moore had his serum PSA, a marker of cancer recurrence, measured. Last examination I had was this year, and my PSA was zero. And my doctor said, we're not, we're not even going to test you anymore for it. If I die, it won't be no cancer. <laughs> After 8,000 cesium-131 treatments at 200 centers across the United States, we at Isuray Medical wish to congratulate Mr. Moore on 10 years of freedom from his prostate cancer. I don't think anything about it at all. Just my PSA is zero, that's all I want to know.